A major overhaul to Austin's public transit system is coming this weekend. Capital Metro is eliminating two bus routes and making several other changes. KXA and Jujin Cho took a closer look and found out one line that will stop running has some people really concerned about their access to medical care. <laughs> Twin sisters Carol McDaniel and Karen Rogers always have each other, even when they go see their doctors. I mean, I have a lot of doctors. I have a lot of medical problems, chronic illnesses that I have to see doctors uh, quite frequently. But the bus they rely on to get to St. David's and North Austin will no longer be there for them. Wow, this, they really are taking this stop completely away. And then it was like, now what are we going to do? Capital Metro told us that bus, number 240, only had about 25 riders a day and having to drive onto the hospital property. This adds a lot of time to the route. And if we're going to deliver a high frequency service to our community, which is what people have been asking for over the last 15 months, um, we really needed to do away with some of that inefficiencies. There will be three routes that go near the hospital. The sisters told me the new routes will bring them to this intersection, Cedar Bend and Metric. They'll then have to walk to the hospital, which according to the maps app on my phone takes about 10 minutes. It's about half a mile down the road. McDaniel's worried about that walk. It's not acceptable to me that they don't have access to a major hospital and a major medical facility. We understand that even if it's only 25 people a day that use a route, those are still 25 people who need a route. Cap Metro said they are working on pilot programs like partnering with Ride Austin to try to help. Eugene Show, KXAN News. And once the new routes go into effect this Sunday, Capital Metro will not charge for rides for the first week. From June the 3rd through the 9th, you can get on the buses free of charge. As we mentioned, there are two routes being completely eliminated, but there are 17 routes that are being eliminated and replaced. Starting this Sunday, there will be 110 new bus stops, and about half of the routes are changing. On 14 of the high-frequency routes, buses will depart every 15 minutes, seven days a week, and that includes the airport bus. To take a closer look at the routes and how you'll be affected, go to kxan.com.